Hello, everyone. I'm Nolan Myers, CEO of Double GDP. We're building an end-to-end -end platform for new cities to connect with residents, accelerate growth, and deliver responsive public services. I'm here today bringing you a Sprint update for April 28th. As always, I'll go through what we aimed to accomplish this Sprint, how we did against those goals, and what we uh, aim to accomplish in the next Sprint. So by the end of April, uh, our top level goal is to have a population of 22. We had three product areas we wanted to work on, map, mapping, payments, and forms, and then a couple of other initi initiatives. We wanted to move a couple of hackers in, uh, in and uh, roll out a construction report rewards program. A uh, quick update on the construction rewards program that's still work in progress, so I don't have an update uh, this week. And we didn't roll out new forms, but we did do some other things on product that I'll bring you through uh, shortly. Uh, first, checking in on overall goal, we had two new people move in this sprint, so we're at 17. We're still shy of the 22. I don't expect to be able to hit that in this month, um, but we are uh, going to be looking at ways that, uh, that we might be able to catch up um, in the coming months. Um, and the big exciting news is that we have a new partner, um, and uh, I'm not yet ready to share the name of that partner, uh, uh, but I will be seeking their permission for the next sprint to tell you who, who that is. Uh, but a couple of hints, here is the flag and what their country looks like. So, hola. Um, in, uh, in Kwashi news, exciting news here, um, we have a prefab that we've moved in and we've moved a couple of people into uh, ready for some new residents and um, our hackers have moved into a new house. So this is here on the right is our hacker house and uh, a view of where great software will soon be created. Uh, created. And we have uh, a prefab uh, home that's uh, built and was moved in um, uh, this sprint or moved in a couple of sprints ago and connected now ready for, uh, ready for use. Um, and we actually have a couple of hackers moved in. So welcome to uh, two new participants in the Microverse uh, program who are uh, improving their software development skills. Thrilled to have you as part of the Hackers in Residence uh, program. Um, thinking about uh, what's uh, coming, uh, sorry, product. Having a little slide problems here. So we did make some great progress with mapping. Um, the uh, areas here, uh, we have a much more robust uh, mapping of individual plots and those neighborhoods. And we're now showing construction progress. So if you look here, you can actually see that one house is um, under construction. Uh, we are um, working to delineate which houses are under construction and which ones are already built so that you can get a bird's eye view of the things that are taking place on site. Um, but one of the other things that exci is exciting now is we have a lot of points of interest loaded in, especially those coming from the Artist in Residence program. So you can see we have the Big Man uh, by George Mubanga is a sculpture at the at the opening gate and a, another sculpture here. Um, this is a picture of a house that's in progress, but just being able to show progress and being able to see it from within the application, a uh, big part of, of what we're the strategy we're per pushing on uh, maps there. On payments, we had a few um, uh, more iteration there, still aiming to become the system of record there, still not quite hitting that goal. Uh, so we'll look at that more in the next uh, sprint. But some of the progress that we made here is that we handled a situation where a client overpays. We are able to report a payment with the invoice that they have affected so we can have a tighter reporting. We're snapshotting receipts so that they stay stable um, and are not generated uh, dynamically um, and uh, uh, have created the ability to correct a payment date when one, uh, when one needs correction. Um, as part of uh, welcoming a new partner, we needed we need to um, invest in community settings and be able to make these more configurable. So um, our community uh, administration page here now uh, has the ability to configure the logo, the color, the language, the currency. Uh, this is um, still administrative tools. We still need to do some of the back end to actually affect some of those things and expect that to be kind of an iterative process over the next few weeks. Uh, but starting on that process to be able to um, welcome a new uh, a new partner. Um, and then uh, other exciting news is we have an admin home screen now. Uh, so administrators uh, at the city log in and they get uh, very easy access to the payments, uh, the total set of payments and the activity of the last week, as well as invoices there, task reminders and news is a little further down on that page. 
uh, in the next sprint, we're uh, going to be putting a lot of effort into new um, onboarding a new partner. We're looking for some quick wins there. Some of this will be getting to know them and uh, understanding sort of what what the application can do in a new context and working through some of the bugs that we expect to come up as we deploy it into a new context, including a new language. More iterations on payments. Uh, the goal here is to get to be the system of record. Uh, and I think there's uh, that has been the goal for a, a few sprints. We're still not, not hitting it. Um, and we'll come back to some of the work we had intended to do in this sprint around the forms for rewards uh, program. Uh, that uh, hopefully we'll roll out the, that rewards program and recruit four new hackers that can start in the May cohort. That's it for today. Thank you so much uh, and look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks.